Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with another video. Let's get it. FDA recalls dangerous YouTuber beauty products. So, I don't know how bad our products are. I don't know what happened, but let's check it out. <laughs> what's the? You guys know she was on some reality show dancing with mom or like a beauty. Dude, I want pancakes so bad. <laughs> I want pancakes with the syrup and that bacon. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm no cool. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Beauty mom. No, uh, Dance Moms is what it was called, I believe. Which yeah. chronicles the uh, child abuse of mothers. Essentially, yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's pull up a clip. Yeah, this was like a regular on, uh, on the soup back in the day. Of uh, just shitty, really cringy clips. Um, it looks like. Is working on the solo. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Why am I watching Jojo's little girls? Jojo's working on her solo. Nia oh, it's Jojo. is learning. Jojo's routine. Hey, what is, is what is this show? Okay, so Dancing with the Moms. I know about this show because like my cousins, like I have cousins that are dancers, and one of the girls actually came in first place, and like one of the girls on the dance mom team came in second. Like, it was on TV and everything. <laughs> like, they are like a bunch of competitive dancers, and these girls, this lady literally worked these girls from day and night, just dancing and everything. It's just, it's so crazy. And how she talks to them, it's like, she's very, like, she's very verbally abusive to them. Like, she talks to them so bad. And they actually air this on TV. That's crazy. Just listen. Her routine as well. I don't want them sitting. So this is crazy ass moms. Okay. Very good. That's great. Yeah, yeah I think running boot camp on their little kid. kids. Right. Does the solo better than the kid that's supposed to be doing. This season, um, I want them up. I want them looking. So this show was popular, I guess. Well, anyway, she was one of the stars from this, and she's huge on YouTube now, and she's selling a bunch of products. My goodness, um, she's built like an entire empire. Um, unfortunately, one of those items was recalled by the FDA. The FDA made a tweet recently and issued a warning. Here, first let's start with this tweet. This is amazing. Today, the FDA is releasing new results from its continued testing of cosmetic products for asbestos and is warning consumers to not use two additional products that have been tested positive for asbestos and have been recalled. Look at this shit. That's a little death bomb. <laughs> That's scary because if a YouTuber's makeup brand has been recalled, that makes YouTubers look bad. Like they're not professional. Oh. And they've been recalled by the FDA. That's serious. That means it can kill you. <laughs> a little death box of joy. Why the hell is there asbestos in this shit to begin with? I mean, do you want your child's face to light on fire is that what you're saying right now i mean how could that be a useful product it's fire resistance dude oh is that what it is <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know what, what i don't know what the actual reason for it being in there that's i mean that's the main purpose of asbestos right fireproofing i honestly i think it's insulation in homes and stuff yeah. oh insulation okay i uh i'll tell you i'll give you my little <laughs> anecdote about asbestos there was some in our house because it was old from the f this little girl Fifties, and the guys had to come the clean thing. it up to, with this. You have to watch as a YouTuber. You gotta watch what type of manufacturer you're working with, because they might make some shit. <laughs> that shit. <Wow. laughs> that makeup she had can blow up on somebody's face, bro. City <laughs> approval, Someone and you have to wet match, it down before you clear it out. Yeah. Near her face to make sure it doesn't kick up any dust, because blood. if you breathe it in, you get cancer. So these guys come with Max and they're hosing it down and they're putting it in bags and they're disposing it. This shit is in kids' lip gloss. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. What, what the F? You can get a good deal on it now, though. Yeah. That's probably true. I'll show, show up. up uh... That's optimistic. It is being recalled, though. So, but, but there you have it. And so I guess the FDA has been going over all these beauty products and fucking, I'm so glad to hear that because there is some weird shit out there on the market. I was touching on it earlier in the episode. These people are making 
drugs, sleeping pills, supplements. And they're just YouTubers. These are just, these are not chemists. <laughs> these are not, they have no qualification to be making things that you consume in your freaking body. These have not been, you know, look. He said like be a doctor's job or a chemist's job or like a scientist that actually knows how to make medicine or make certain products correctly. Yeah. But you got a whole YouTube room trying to make some makeup and that shit can blow up on someone's face. <laughs> that by the FDA. So now they are looking at it because they're like, oh shit, these people are selling like straight up poison. That's the asbestos mobile, my dudes. Well, it's actually, it's pretty wild that the FDA is inspecting and regulating cosmetics, but yeah, I mean, as far as I know, they don't, they don't even touch supplements and shit, right? Like they don't even well, investigate that. It says it always says on the label, not, the yeah. not, not inspected by the FDA. I think if they get certain complaints or tips, then they look into it. I look into it. They, they investigate if there's something dangerous on the market. But this just goes to show you what, like, the care that goes in. They find some bullshit manufacturer in China to make it cheap as possible, and these motherfuckers are putting asbestos in for God knows what. It's like cutting cocaine with baby powder. It's like, why'd you use baby powder? Well, I don't know. It's cheap. Filler. And then they, this was fantastic, what they said in their defense. They go, we stand by the safety of this item. As small traces of asbestos are acceptable under European and Canadian cosmetic safety regulations. Okay. <laughs> I like our reg regulation where it says no fucking asbestos. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a better one. The European and Canadian cosmetic safety regulations. Okay. I like our regulation where it says no fucking asbestos. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a better one. Their, their argument is, well, it's okay in Canada. It's fine in Europe. <laughs> Bro. Fuck no. That's actually surprising <laughs> to hear. I mean... And I don't know... Expensive. Also, it's, it's probably... Seriously, out here. It's, yeah, I, I'm used to America being like, yeah, a little rat poison's fine. Right, yeah. They're the ones that are like... It's usually oh. the other way around. Um, but it's misleading, too, because they say trace amounts. We're not sure how much asbestos is in their lip gloss. Because they're like, well, it's okay to have trace amounts in Europe. Ours would be illegal there, too. But it's okay to have a trace amount. You know what I mean? Like, they could be well over that trace amount. Well, I definitely um, am, am just thrilled to find out that, that, that our kids are eating asbestos. I mean, hopefully we can, we can sneak some lead in there and, and call it a day. Lead asbestos. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Alex Jones is selling some lead asbestos supplements, too. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Do not buy supplements from these fucking <laughs> social media people. I'm telling you. These people are not qualified to sell you shit. <laughs> he ain't lying, though. He's like, the, like why the fuck are y'all buying food from YouTubers? Like, dude, stop. <laughs> I'm not even good there. Cosmetics? Like clothes is fine. Buy merch, but do not buy fucking lip gloss. Make like I know y'all wanna I mean James Charles, he may be safe because he's a bigger brand, but No. Still. But they kinda you like know, iterated. This, these... They did it like they were targeting certain group because they were using a little girl to sell that stuff. Right, yeah. These beauty they, gurus they are all these beauty people are getting so fucking rich. What is what these cosmetics shit? It's a good racket, I guess. I mean, Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. Right, right. From selling fucking lip gloss. Jeffree Star is like a trillionaire from selling lipstick and shit. I mean, that's the thing, like you can like it's crazy because Every girl YouTuber does this. Even if they don't start out as a makeup YouTuber, somehow, some way down the line, they have a makeup thing going on after they... Like, you can be the most mundane type of YouTuber. You don't even have to be a makeup guru on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you make a supplement brand. If you look like you have a fit body, you can literally sell this idea of something that's not real to people. It's crazy. So makeup gym supplements gym uh 
like tea, all that stuff you see people using. They advertise it on their YouTube channels and they make a bunch of money from people buying. Because people go, yeah, people go buy it because they That's feel sad. like, oh, I can use this makeup, or I can use this. It, it's smart marketing. Gotta give it to them. It's smart marketing. I mean, what the fuck, man? Cheers. <laughs> like, also, like Rihanna was, like, worth six hundred million dollars. Now I just saw, I read something from from cosmetics. Jesus Christ, I gotta make cosmetics. What can I sell? <laughs> I gotta make Vaseline. Ethan Klein Vaseline. There you go. Fooper, Fooper Trooper Vaseline. What about like a Fupa rub? Fupa rub? Some sort of rub. Yeah. Somehow I don't see that having the broad appeal to make me a billionaire. <laughs> I gotta figure it out. Would you guys buy some cosmetics? What would you be interested in? God, women. Man, I need female audience. Sorry, all the men watching, but I can't fleece you enough. <laughs> I need to work on my female audience because you could sell females a fuckload more than you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like look, look at Dan's shirt. shirt. Oh, we got new shirts. Wow. It's not gonna make me a billion. H3H3Shop.com. Fooper Troopers Army. And there's another. This is a billion. This is this bring in the, the Ela shirt. Way fucking more. Here, I'll go grab. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not gonna make me a billion dollars though. Sorry guys, you're just not as valuable as females. I could sell them lip gloss with asbestos in it. The thing about all those cosmetic suits is that I bet you that cost like 25 cents to make. 22 cents of it is the packaging. And they sell it for a hundred fucking dollars. Like the, the, the markup on that shit is insane. And why is it that every beauty guru on YouTube has products? Has a line. Somehow they're all just chemists. They all just understand how to make supplements. You know, makeup is one thing, but when I found out they're making... Think about it. If we made our channels mad, oh my gosh. It's, it's kind of sad that you have to, like, review toys or do something friendly. Like, you can't... You can't make any good money from something unless you, like... Well, you will make good money, regardless. But, like, to be, like, in this big level level, you gotta go for something that everyone likes. Like, makeup or something, or gaming... It's kind of like you can't be in a certain niche or interest and think you're going to get to a certain point. Unless it's a very, very popular niche. It's, it's crazy. H3 is right. And supplements? Shit that you actually eat? I was like, oh, mama. <laughs> you couldn't fucking pay me to put that shit in my body. It's probably just hay. Yeah. And asbestos. And asbestos. Yeah. A little asbestos, a little lead, and a little hay. A little extra flavor. Um, so then this, this story continues. So that was Jojo who was caught selling asbestos. God bless her. And then there's another one named J Jacqueline Hill who was selling lipstick with mold. Ooh, that's, that's right. True. Straight up hairs and mold. Nasty shit, y'all. Come on! Again. YouTuber Jacqueline Hill faces backlash for launching lipsticks. Some customers call yeah. defective. So what she put in their stuff again? What happened? Those go God, God bless her. her. And then there's another one named J Jacqueline Hill who was selling lipstick with mold in it. That's right. Straight up hairs and mold. Nah. So that means she probably bought those makeup out of another old factory that was holding the lipsticks and makeup in there for years. And all she did was take all that makeup, put them in new boxes, and put her name on it and design the box. And resold it. <laughs> That's all she did. That's so nasty. She bought basically old makeup that was probably just sitting in a warehouse somewhere. That's so nasty. Nasty shit, y'all. Again. Sorry, lady, just because you're, like, putting on makeup doesn't mean you're qualified to make it. Come on! Here. This is how it arrived. All hairy and bumpy and shit. This is people tweeting at her, like, what the fuck? Look, this girl found a bead in it. She found a fucking... Oh, shit. She found a bead in her. Shit, bro. That's a lump of asbestos. This is a lump of lead right there, my dudes. <laughs> Uh, that's the Do not buy products from YouTubers. 
cosmetics. cosmetics. Sorry. That just makes the YouTube community look bad. Now this, this one, one, she she's refuting this or she's battling it. With, with the, the JoJo, JoJo one, you know, they pulled all the products and everything. The FDA is like legit. no. Yeah. Is JoJo like? Is she just hiding her head from public? What's going on? With yeah, JoJo? it doesn't seem there. There was like an apology statement, just a very generic apology statement, and that that's. Hi great. guys, JoJo here. Yeah. Sorry for selling you uh, lip gloss with asbestos. All right, catch me in my JoJo car. <laughs> like her pipes shoot out like asbestos powder. <laughs> Black smoke as she drives away. Well, what do you think her plate is? Asbestos. Yeah. It's poison queen. <laughs> It's, it's it spells poison queen offhand like P S N, you know. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Look I at mean, this. There's fucking hairs on this one, dudes. Hairs. She says they are fibers from cotton gloves used at the factory. That's that is the, so dumb. <laughs> Why? First of all, at a cosmetic plant, if you have workers using cotton gloves. You already are working at such a dime store, unprofessional factory that I wouldn't be surprised if there's mold and asbestos and lead in your lipstick. Why wouldn't you use latex gloves? Who the fuck would use cloth gloves? And if they did, why are they rubbing the tip of the makeup? It's yeah. embedded inside of the lipstick. That literally doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's kind of hard to... There's no fucking way they were using cloth gloves. No way. <laughs> so then this girl actually oh, she busted out the mic yeah it's I pretty they hate H3H3 cause he's just too real <laughs> legit this girl um named Ra Ra <coughs> we're trying to find the rawest of the raw we're trying to find oh. the rawest of the raw <laughs> um Ra Beauty Christie put this shit under a microscope check this video out the truth about Jaclyn Hill cosmetic lipstick. That is absolutely Look at these bubbles. Mortifying. Here, I'll turn it up. What are these hairs? Ew, dude. You're supposed What's to put that on your head? lip. <laughs> That's so foul. It looks like little pubes, dude. Oh my God. I am disgust horrified. Oh. Oh, it looks like there's blackheads on it. What is it? Hair. Those are just air bubbles. Ugh. Oh, is what I believe. Uh, the Why are there air bubbles on it? Why is there air coming from within it? I don't even know. All right. Do you know what produce, produces air bubbles? Bacteria. On it. Look at that. That's my chair. That's a good point. Weird. That's nasty. Let's look at my highlight real quick. Sorry, this has nothing to do with anything. Oh. That thing is awesome. I want to get that. Yeah, how'd she get her hands on that? The thing's... That's nasty. That's cool. That's so <laughs> sick. Anyway, so disgusting. So fucking disgusting. So she responded. Jacqueline Hill responded. She said, If any of you are receiving lipstick like this, please know that this is not hair. Oh, I'm afraid it's something much worse. My factory used brand new white gloves to do quality control and they shed all over my product. We switched to rubber gloves two days ago and we'll make sure that this never happens again. What about the ball? What about the bubbles? Nobody's using cloth gloves for quality control anywhere in the world for so many reasons. One being it's way more expensive than latex gloves and two, it's way less sanitary than latex gloves. It doesn't make any sense to use cloth gloves anywhere ever anywhere where does anyone use cloth gloves go ahead and tell me i'll wait go ahead when does anyone use cloth gloves for handling anything jewelry stores okay jewelry stores maybe you're right i would think they're using 